Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review over in the beer room. Albeit on a blooming chilly night, it's absolutely Baltic in here. You know, we're all on the warmer weather. Uh, problem with the winter months. So, today I'm reviewing, uh, never drank it before, don't know anything about it. Max Arena's Slosh Gold, if that's how you pronounce it, Schloss Gold. Um... So it's a Hell's Export beer. Um, ABV of 5.3%. I have actually got my other phone, so I can actually do that. And and wow, I can actually read it now. It's all in German, so that's absolutely crap. <laughs> so it's a Bay Bayernish beer. Um, is what it is. Uh, like I say, don't know anything about the beer, but you know, we'll give it a punt. We'll see how it co how it cooks, and we'll go from there. Yes, here we go. So, it's a lager, you know, in the grand scheme of things. There's a slight haze, it, although it depends on the light and the coldness. Lots of carbonation going off there, white head on there. A lovely sweetness to the nose, you know, from the lager malts. Yeah, it certainly smells nice. Well, let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. Hope we're okay. Just done my first bear hauls this weekend. Uh, although I did buy some the other week, but yeah, two bear hauls in one weekend. So that's um, spam emails you get on the internet, just make me chuckle. So it's a little bit nice to have some different bears in to do. I am getting through the bears on the bear wall, and it's a good thing as well, to be honest, because uh, there are some bears that have been there a while. So to get it down and build it back up later in the year, I think that's good. I think sometimes, you know, I get to that stage where I'm being a bit greedy with the beers and, you know, stockpiling too many. And like I say, there's beers and breweries that need me to review them and then put them to bed. And then I don't think I'll ever have a beer wall like I did have at one stage where I was literally three or four hundred beers. I don't think I'll ever get to that ever again. I'm enjoying going out. I'm enjoying doing the the uh, one minute beer reviews where it's just bish bash bosh reviews. And uh, come spring and summer and autumn, I should be back on the um, doing lives and uh, I've got it all planned in my head the structure of the channel going forward and uh, more beer festivals of course uh, and money and all that permit him you know we can have all the we can have all the um, plans in the world but you know it may not come to fruition you know and uh, would it be lovely to win that lottery you know just to be able to chill and and have a great life um or a life where we're not so worried about the money side of things um it is what it is i mean if i was to win the lotto i'd have some special to toys in here and i'd be getting my beer directly from the breweries um i wonder if you can do that you know actually buy your casks and kegs directly from them technically they sell to a pub in that way. Well, I'm not a pub, and I won't be selling it. So I'm basically just buying their untaxed product. But they've already, once they've sold it, it's out of their hands. Interesting. Wow. 
there's a lovely crispness it's oh, all augers crisp and refreshing that's what all augers is all about it's got a real smoothness to it crisp refreshing um obviously german, german lagers you know they're probably the best out there aren't they although carlsberg might um say different carlsberg probably the best beer in the world or was it the best lager they used to say um yeah yeah how anybody can say that and not have a smile on the face laughing rather saying it you know like yeah, yeah bollocks you know that sort of thing um yeah i won't even call it the best standard lager <laughs> however if that's what you like then you know no one can tell you what what you can and can't drink you know as somebody growing up i like sweeter drinks i like malibu i liked baileys and people would say they're women's drinks fuck taste nice i don't give a shit at what you know for what demographic they are uh i'll drink what i like and what tastes nice and, and that's for the rest i don't care i don't care about monkeys um Ooh. yeah that that it's the spot and um i got it from i think it was oh, i can't remember the name of the place now holborn's that's it uh and they had some amazing bargains on didn't get everything i asked for but some things i didn't ask for and hopefully the money was about right it was a strange old way of doing business um you know, normally you order something and if it's not in stock, you don't get it and you get money back uh, and not, not getting different stuff. It, it, it was weird, a weird way of doing business. Um, and no paperwork at all, which again, was a strange way of doing business. Uh, but, you know, I had some good beers from them, so I can't fault them in that respect. Uh, like a lot of places, you know, struggling at the moment. A lot of places are. Um, it's going to be an interesting year going forward, but it will be, you know, it will be what it is. Um, yesterday, I was supposed to go to a beer festival yesterday, and, and I bottled it, and I wasn't feeling that great anyway, and, and I bottled it. And uh, apparently, they sold out of the beer, and uh, I was really worried when I looked on the internet and saw pictures of two people in the room, and I'm like, oh, shit. That's not good. But um, yeah, they sold all the beer. It sounds like they've had a great time and a good little money earner for that for that um, for that scouts group. So I did my promotional for it. You know, I promoted it across all my social medias and in groups that I go on. So you know, it gets the word out there. Maybe for next year, maybe they'll go a bit bigger next year. If you know, instead of having just ten cask beers. Which is still a lot of beer, you know. How many? That's eight hundred pints. <laughs> a lot of beer for a little beer, a little beer festival, and then ciders as well. And and uh, yeah, they obviously did well. And uh, and I would have, I would assume that the pubs in that vicinity uh, would have done well as well. So, so it's all good on that side of things. Um, I'm also at a beer festival this Thursday in Hucknall, so. Um, Hucknall Beer Festival, and I'm going on the Thursday and the Friday. I was going on the Saturday, but uh, I'm now going on the Friday as well. So, uh, from about four o'clock on Thursday, and probably the same sort of time on Friday as well, uh, catching a bus up, and uh, yeah, me and the Mrs. Raggy. So I'm going as I'm going over on Thursday in a bit of a judging capacity. Uh, and then on Friday, I'm going as a, uh, as just the normal person. Yeah. Oh, although, to be fair, I'll be going as a normal person both days, you know. Uh, I'd never change, never change who I am. So, for me, um, yeah, lovely, lovely lager nose off this. Oh, I've got to say, that's that's an absolute cracker i've enjoyed that uh, a good 4.4 out of 5. do scores really matter no 
No, we don't. No, not in any way, shape or form. It's all about your enjoyment of every beer or lager, cider, you know, and so on. But yeah, I enjoyed that in any case. And that's it for my review. Um, thank you for watching. Cheers.